Hey, how's it going? It's Robbie here, Basic Engineering Mechanical Services, old goose reader from Geraldine. So I've been talking a few wee tips lately. Today's tip is the easiest way to find an electrical short on your truck or trailer, you know, car, boat, trailer, you know, whatever it is. Um, now, so I've drawn a diagram, actually quite a good diagram actually, 3D. Usually I'm only used to drawing stick figures because I see them in stick books. But anyway, so I've got a battery, relay system, fuse, light switch, light, Simple. Now the fuse is the weakest link. Um, it's a bit like Kenworth on the side of the road broken down. You are the weakest link. Oh, that TV program. You are the weakest link. I was actually on that once. She said to me, you are the weakest link. I said, no, I'm not actually. She said, oh, what makes you say that? And I said, well, I was actually with the New Zealand Fire Service. And I said, yo, <clears throat> while all you wimp sissies and Kenworth drivers, yo, were running away from the burning building, me and my colleagues were running into it. But anyway, this, yo. So what happens is, you know, you're cruising around all these you know, miles and that sort of thing. <coughs> Cables wear, the insulation comes off, then it creates a short and it blows the fuse. <coughs> Usually it's around your drawbar area, along your draw beam, or, or your hinge area if, if it's a tipper. So we'll call this the trailer and this the truck. So if your fuse, you've got your truck and trailer together, if your fuse blows, well it could be between your truck and your trailer. So whack a new fuse in it disconnect the truck from the trailer and go for a drive. If you're bouncing around the fuse doesn't blow, hook the trailer back up. If the fuse blows then, it's in your trailer. But, <clears throat> see, you know, you're cruising around with your lights on and you know, we'll call this the trailer, we've got you know, thin wires, electrical short, you know, bouncing around, blows the fuse straight away. So, you throw it away. You put another one in. You go another couple of miles, you know, could be five mile, it could be 50 mile. Same thing happens. You can get a resettable fuse. I quite like them. Because it gets you out of the shit. So you just whack it in. Then you carry on trucking. And you know, it's a bit more resilient. That you, know, you can short it out. And um, it doesn't pop. If it's a dead short. And shorted for long enough, it will pop. Then all you do is you get your pen and you click the red button back down and you keep on going. That's only a short term fix. Sooner or later, you still gotta you know, get the problem fixed. Now the easiest way I've done, you know, figured out to do that is get a short light. And you're gonna say, well what's the difference between a short light, a long light, and a red light? Well, this is a short light. A long light's about that long. And a red light, well that's the red light, light district, that's where you Kenworth drive the hanger. So all this is is a 24 volt, um, light, spotlight. It's got to, ha got to have a bulb in it though. So <clears throat> I've put fittings on here that fit in your fuse holder. So you just push them in there. The light goes. Not very well because it's an LED. But it glows here. So what you do, take the fuse out, put this in, you point it towards you so that you can see. Because you've got, you know, 20 metres of truck, or it could be a road train or whatever. You, you, know, you want to be able to see it, but you don't know where it is exactly. So you can isolate it between a truck, a truck or the trailer, but you've still got to find it. So if you put this short light in, point it towards you, then you can walk along the truck or the trailer, shaking all the wires. Now, when you're getting closer to the short, this light here will glow a bit brighter. And sometimes you'll actually hear the relay clicking away too. So it's not actually all that good for the relay, but instead of going through the whole trailer with no idea, you can walk around and you can isolate it. Not to, it's not necessarily exactly where your hand is, because you know, the wires can be loose, it could be a metre or two either side of your hand, but it's isolated it down. So you walk along, you know, point that towards you, you walk along shaking all the wires. See how that's getting brighter? When that starts getting brighter, that means you're in the general vicinity. Then you can start unraveling all the ins you know, insulation and zip ties and that sort of thing that are holding the you know, cables secure. Um, otherwise, you know, you'd be up and down the whole trailer, pull them all to bits, and it's Murphy's Law, it's always in the last place you look. But um, that's just you know, my quick tip for the day. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Cheers, Robbie, over now. Woohoo!